Now, before jumping into a Visual Studio code and writing a bunch of JavaScript code, I'll start by, you know, writing something in the uh, Chrome only. So what you have to do, you have to go to these three dots, then you are going to go on more tools and here uh, what you are going to uh, do is you are going to do go on developer tools and basically developer tools take you to the this web, uh, this console where you can write your javascript code okay now let's start with something very basic i'm going to write alert and inside i'm going to write let's say hello and i'm going to end it now as soon as i hit enter you can see that the website pops up an alert which says the following message hello so you can uh, get it that alert basically you know gives a pop-up uh, of uh, of a message which is inside the curly parenthesis not curly round parenthesis and then we end it with a semicolon great now what if I have to write give two alerts at the same time I mean I can write alert and then I'll say hello and in the another alert I want to say alert world but as soon as I hit enter my first uh, message is shown and then I can write my second message which is alert word but this is not what I want I want that both of these messages need to be popped up one after the another without you know writing one, first one and then it gets executed and then the second one so what's the trick here is you are going to write alert and here you are going to write hello uh, okay my bad again you are going to do one thing you are going to write alert you are going to say hello you are going to close it then you are going to press shift and then enter it takes you to the new line and then you say alert world and now if I click it says hello and then it says the world pretty cool but what happened here in this part you can see that I forgot to put the uh, shift plus enter and this would happen with you a lot of times okay you'll for you'll forget to put shift plus enter and this would happen now obviously you don't want that right um, because all your progress will be lost as soon as you hit the enter button so what is the solution to tackle it so simply uh, a neat trick is go to source and there are snippets then you go to uh, click on new snippet and you can write anything like if I click it to ads.js but we don't uh, want to mess up with the name I'll just remove it and I'll remove the l have will and we we'll work on the index so here you can simply type alert hello and then you are going to write alert world and see if I just click on enter nothing happens but if I have to run this code I will just click on this button or you can just click control to enter and this is the debugger I will just it shows me this and then the code great works right okay now let's move it a bit down and here we are 
Now I might be thinking, okay, why alert? Why not any other word? Like in simple English, what I can say, say. Then I can say, how? This is a random thing. I'll hide the debugger and I'll just click on Control Enter. Uh, I'll just run the debugger. It says hello, it says word, and then it gives me an error. Okay. If I go to console or if I move this a bit up, you can see that it has given us something on code reference, so it's not defined and it's a line. Now you don't have to worry about what it is saying, but it is just simply saying that say is not a defined word for the computer. Okay. Now there is something called keywords which are you know basically used to give computers some instructions and alert is a part of that keyword so what we'll do we'll just go to mdn mdn developer if you look on the website you just go here and then uh, you go to javascript get there It's taking a bit time. Let's just wait. Okay, no waiting. We are here. And this is the holy grail or the Bible of JavaScript where you can learn, understand, and everything. So, this is the JavaScript. And you can, you know, uh, go through all these things and everything. But I don't want that. I already told you about the keywords. So, here we are just going to simply search for alert. I'll just go here. And you can see window alert method. So this instructs the browser to display a dialog with an option that says at wait until the user dismisses the dialog. We dismiss the dialog by clicking the OK button. Okay. Now the it's, I mean you'll see many developers using the whole form which is window dot alert. But we use a short form or it is like more used in nowadays, which is uh, alert and in the bracket inside it uh, the message whichever we want okay then you can uh, see the return values these two are the same these basically do the same then the notes and the compatibility but okay this all is not needed but you understand what is this thing okay nice now uh, what I want here is Check this one. Alert. So this is a keyword as I told you, which you know is basically vocabulary or grammar for computer languages. So then understand that thing. Then inside it, this part, it is a message. It is inside the uh, quotation marks, and here you can write anything. Okay, like something, anything, and it won't make sense. Obviously, this doesn't make sense, but Still, our computer will faithfully show it. And then the sentence or that command ends with a semicolon. If semicolon is not there, and if we try to run it, let's run it. Okay. Okay. I don't know what is the problem here, but semicolons are needed as much as I know suppose okay I don't know what is the problem here but semicolons are needed you can see here okay I don't know what is the problem here but anyways let's just put it for our use so yeah so this was just you know the beginning or just your first piece of code or you know the hello world of JavaScript if you have done any programming in any language, hello world is the most basic sentence. On the first line of code we do in any language is to print something. And here we printed it with the hello world. Okay, great. So in the further videos, we'll look more into JavaScript. We'll dive more into JavaScript, learning about different things. I'm not going to name it so that you get scared or anything. But okay, we'll do that. 
So I guess that was it for this video and thank you for watching and see you later.